In this next fast tip, what we're going to do is look at a real simple way that you can use the color corrector in either Vegas Pro or in Vegas Movie Studio software. Sometimes you've got something that just didn't white balance correctly, or maybe there's just some problems with the exposure, or any number of different things could have happened with the clip so that the colors aren't accurate. So let's look at how we can improve that very, very quickly using the Vegas family of software products. I've got a piece of media here playing on the timeline. And let's go ahead and kill the audio. There we go. We'll just turn that all the way off. And the first thing we want to do is go up to our color corrector tool. And so we'll drag the color corrector down onto the clip. And we can see the color corrector tool there and see what's what's available. Now, one thing that we want to check before we do anything is be sure that this sync cursor button is turned off. And you can you can see that right here. I'll just I'll move it up so that you can see it just a little more of what's going on there. We have the sync to cursor button and make sure that that is not enabled. If it, if it's enabled, it's going to create some problems for us a little bit later on. All right, let's put our uh, our cursor on a frame that's got some problems. There we go. And I think I'm just going to park my color corrector right up here so that it's it's dialed in to one of my docking windows. It's going to make it a little bit easier to show you what's going on. Let's just select a, a small area here. Now you can see in this shot that it's very, very blue. The camera is not white balancing to the shot very well. The camera is in auto white balance mode. And so we want to correct that. So the first thing that we're going to do is come to our color corrector. And you can see here we've got some eyedroppers. The first eyedropper that we see here is uh, to select a, an adjustment color, or we can select a complementary color. So the same thing on all three of these color wheels. We're going to start on the right-hand side, and we're going to select an adjustment color. So let's click here. We're going to come over and find something that should be white. So let's just click on the white snow there. That's pretty obvious. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to select the adjustment color for the mid-level and we're going to look for something that's a little bit neutral. So let's just click on, uh, say, a piece of this, this brush right here. Great. And that's neutral. And then finally, we're going to click on something here that should be black. So we're going to, again, grab that adjustment color and let's look for something black. We'll click on this, this coat right here. Okay, now you can see that our, our shot hasn't changed a whole lot, but let's compare the two. So this is what we had. Let's turn off the color corrector. That's what we had, and this is what we have. So you see we've, we've taken some of the coldness out of that shot. We've removed some of the cool. You can see that the color corrector here has actually moved away from blue. Now if we wanted to warm that shot up just a little bit, we could even move that mid-tone color corrector up towards the reds. That's a little too much. We could warm up that shot, or we could cool it down by bringing it back toward the blue. We just swing it over here just a little bit towards the red, maybe give it just a touch of, of yellow to it. So there's what our shot looked like, the before and the after. And in fact, one trick you might not be aware of in Vegas is we can come up here to this split screen view. And we can decide that we want to split the screen in half. So here's what we had on one side and what we have on the other. We can even de design that split screen so it's happening somewhere else. Let's just split it this way. Now we can compare the snow and the uh, the other piece of snow there, or we'll just split right up the middle so we can look at what's going on with our ATV there. So we can see both sides of what's happening. So again, there's the before, and on this side we've got the after. Pretty cool way to work. So this is just a basic way to get started in the Vegas Color Corrector, found in both VMS and found in Vegas Pro Software. Stay tuned for more fast tips from Vast.